You want to beat a champion in his hometown? This is how you should finish a fight. Look at Jose Pedraza take it to Ray Beltran in the final 10 seconds of our lightweight world title fight. I want to show you the CompuBox numbers because Pedraza did exactly... Let's talk about Ray Beltran as a fighter before we go any further. He's now 35-8-1 with uh, 21 KOs. Um, most notable fights, uh, Terrence Crawford, um, Hank Lundy. Remember, he fought Ricky Burns over in Scotland. He should have gotten that win, but, you know, over some home um, town cooking. And right now, I noticed that a lot of people post-fight, you know, are saying that, you know, Ray Beltran is done, you know, and he should retire. No, he's not done, but being able to compete at the 135-pound division with the likes of Mikey Garcia and, you know, obviously now we know that the winner of this, which is Jose Pedraza, is going on to fight Vasil Lomachenko. In the L.A. area, I'm hearing on the – it's been circulating around that it's in the L.A. area, um, likely at the forum, um, December the 1st. It's going to be Lomachenko versus Jose Pedraza. But looking at – the 135 pound division as a whole let's for example obviously you know nobody believes that ray beltran can beat a mikey garcia mikey garcia is is supposed to be once to fight earl spence but showtime's having some issue issues with that date jose pedraza can't compete compete in my opinion with uh mikey garcia you have uh yvonne mendy taking on luke campbell to be the wbc mandatory you have uh, Richard Comey, who's the IBF mandatory. That IBF title could become vacant as soon as next week. Right now it's August the 26, 2018, 3.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Richard Comey is the mandatory, but Mikey Garcia could vacate that title because the IBF ordered him to start negotiations with Rick, Richard Comey. But Mikey Garcia wants, like I said, to fight um, Errol Spence. And Showtime's having some issues on the date and et cetera. So we're still waiting on that. In regards to WBO, um, new WBO champion Jose Pedraza, he's going to be fighting Lomachenko. So Ray Beltran is a pressure fighter, power puncher, if you were to call him that. He is a pressure fighter, but there's not too much pressure there. You know, Jose Pedraza used a lot of movement, and he is overall the better boxer, amateur experience, you know, just, just overall with the mover that he is, but not necessarily known as a power puncher. Now, a couple of years ago, he got knocked out by Tank Davis, and he also had some promotional issues, some horrific promotional issues where he had like three different promoters or along with... We're going to say multiple promoters and multiple advisors. Now he's over with top rank. He's now a two-division world champion. And, you know, people are saying he's going to be the most sacred of, 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 of meals, food for Lomachenko to become a unified champion. But shout out to Jose Pedraza for rebuilding his career and going over to top rank. And they're saying that the Lomachenko fight is going to be a million-dollar payday for Pedraza. It's crazy. So the story with Ray Beltran was, you know, now he's officially a U.S. citizen. That was the story behind him winning, you know, um, um, that world title. Remember when he fought Terrence Crawford, I covered that fight. That was for the vacant WBO title. No, wait, Terrence, no, it was a, it was a title defense. Terrence Crawford had beat Ricky Burns. So he's never been a world champion. He was supposed to fight for the belt. Vacant Beltran did not make weight. I forgot about this overturn due to doping. I forgot about that. We got to revisit that. But now, you know, he's a clean fighter, especially since he, you know, damn sure wanted to stay in the States. He better not have been taking anything. You know, he's fucking with his family's life and his life. But moving on, maybe he could move up in weight. But when you look at 130 and 140 pounds, now remember, right now, He's been fighting at 135, but he is getting up there in age and he can fight at 140 pounds, but does he want to do so? You know, what success can Ray Beltran find at 140 pounds? You know, you got. They can squeeze him in 
they they could they could squeeze him in Jose Ramirez, um, a rose coat because you're going to have Regis Progre, who's still in the and Josh Taylor, who are in the World Boxing Super Series tournament. They they can squeeze of uh, Ray Beltran in at 140 pounds. You got Maurice Hooker taking on Alex uh, Sosito. You know that 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 might be the move. Anyway, um, as I said, Jose Pedraza, you know. I don't see him being able to match boxing skills with a uh, Lomachenko, but as we get closer to the fight and when it's announced, obviously I'm going to do more videos on it. And also, um, thank you to Top Rank. You know, even though I couldn't make the fight, they gave me credentials to the Bryant Jennings uh, fight down in Atlantic City at the last minute. But thank you anyway. So you know, that was technically the third Top Rank fight that we provided coverage here for on it for Five U Three Sixty, but. Nonetheless, obviously, you know, we want to get to um, that Lomachenko fight, so we're going to be working on it. I'm Tishtree Controversy. This is Tishtree Controversy Live. Please subscribe.